I am going... I'm sending Lark back home. Just to see it one last time. Back in her time. And she can only get work working for a lord. He had her cleaning his entire mansion, top to bottom. And he always prized this stupid mirror. She always stared at her reflection. And it was quite nice. So she's aiming for that. Alright. The mirror is not where you remember it to be, obviously. It's been... As you very well know, it's been a couple... What? Decades. Hundred years? <laughs> so... It has been removed... <clears throat> to the Met Museum. You wouldn't know what that is. But yeah... <laughs> So, literally, you appear behind a set of velvet ropes in a very, very dark, massive room. Whoa. It's kind of cool. All right. Uh... Okay, hold on. Oh, sorry, I was reading the last thing. Give me a perception check. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't feel like it. Ah. Because I do believe since I'm an elemental, I may be invisible. Let me just make sure I read that correctly. You're invisible for a minute. Ooh, minute. just a minute. Ah, I'm blind as a bat too. I got zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay, um, I'm behind some velvet ropes, right? Yeah. As you kind of look about, it looks like you're in some sort of exhibit. Is there any people around? No, this place is completely pitch black. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Um, I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm I'm stepping over the rope and I'm looking for an exit as stealthily as possible. I don't know where I am. <laughs> as you begin to move about, it's very, very clear that this place is a museum. As you move throughout the different exhibits, it is there's no way you're going to find the exit within one minute. So your invisibility is going to wear off. Yeah. Yeah. Within probably about three minutes from that, you begin to hear footsteps. Ooh, window, 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 something, something, door, window, lights. Is there a window? <laughs> this is uh, museums, and generally museums don't tend to have um, <laughs> windows and exhibits, unless it's a <laughs> unless it's a specific type of exhibit. So um, there are going to be no windows. I'm sorry. The window exhibit, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um. What is that thing? What is that thing? Uh, okay. I am. It's going to keep your eyes are in, walking quietly. <laughs> your eyes are in, assaulted by bright flashlights. Hey, what are you doing here? Hi. Hands up uh, where I can see them. Running. I booked it. <laughs> I am running. I don't what know is your I'm defense? Running. Actually, you know what? Since you've turned and ran, I don't think you would actually get defense for this. Oh, come on! She about to get tased! <laughs> I don't want to get tased, but I'm going to turn into tackled. leaves! I don't feel like turning into leaves now. That would be kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> you feel a couple of quick bricks into your back and then immediately 
a massive jolt of electricity. Roll me your stamina at a minus two. Why? Can I apply my cloak of leaves when, since I'm getting attacked? <laughs> uh, hold on. Um... I know I burst into leaves and once I get attacked, but I'm still rolling nonetheless. It's and how much I glamour does it cost? It's That's um, a merit. No, cloak of leaves is uh, it's a contract. It's a contract because um, I have it as well. Um, oh, I put it under merits um, accident. Ah! Yeah, anything that allows you to do supernatural stuff like that's a contract, not a merit. Um. And then ride the falling leaf, that's also a thing. Alright, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah. You can use it reflexively. I succeeded so. with one dice. Uh, okay. But how much glamour does that cost? The cloak of leaves thing. Oh, shoot. Um. Was that roll for the contract or was that roll for the stamina? I was rolling for the stamina. That's what that was. And uh, okay. S sh 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 right, the falling leaves is too glamour. You don't have enough. Yeah. Nope. No, I don't. I nope. You still go down, but at least your mm -hmm. body. You go down because of the taser rather than also your chronic pain situation. Oh, I forgot about that. However. It didn't. However, you go down as the volts of electricity pass through your body. Your muscles uh, seize and spasm. Nice, nice. You hear the voices? We have a break-in. We have an intruder in the Met Museum. Uh, we're asking for squad cars to be here. We don't know if they've stolen anything. We will need a full investigation. Uh, Can I push myself... And can I can I push myself? <laughs> what can I do to get an extra glamour? <laughs> uh, can I now get called back to my job? <laughs> can I get can I get that call? Who wants a map? I'm the map, y'all. Or the explorer. Something. Don't worry, as a changeling, being arrested is like the least of your problems. <laughs> it's, it's easy yeah. to get out. Can, can I willpower this? Willpower what? I need to get up and run. Roll your willpower as a dice pool. Uh, I got two will, but oh, no, three willpower left. What hmm. happens if I fail this? You don't. I don't. What do you mean I don't? You don't, you get, don't up. get up. <laughs> okay, so I got two success. You're able to push up despite the voltage of electricity going through your body. And you make a couple of steps. Come on, I'm an elemental. Don't I got something on this? This it's sucks. Wind. I know it's wind. <laughs> <laughs> you hear another uh, set of tasers go off, but you're able to kind of <laughs> jerk yourself in a direction that the taser prongs miss. Run. I am running. Okay. Uh, you're going to take a point of um, lethal damage as you rip the prongs out as you pull them, you know, oh. free. They are barbed. Yep. Yeah, they are. <sighs> They're so pronged. And I need you to roll me your speed. As a uh, dice pool here. <laughs> I don't want to. This sucks. Uh, at least I tried it. I said I don't want to try this mirror thing. I got two successes. Oh, this sucks. All right. You're able to make it to a doorway or door f or something that would allow you to portal if you want to spend that one point of gra glamour to get out. Mm, portal to where? Okay, fine, fine. No, wait, 
Yeah, I need to stay here. <laughs> I can't. Mm, this, ooh, okay. I've been here once. I could be here again. Okay, fine. I'll portal. You can portal to any uh, from any door to the uh, hollow. As you portal, that is a point of glamour, which brings you down to zero. I need you to take the um, depraved condition. Okay, depraved. Deprived, sorry. Your character suffers from an addiction. Because your character is without it, <laughs> she's unable to focus and contain herself. Remove one die from her stamina, resolve, and compose your dice pools. This does not influence derived traits. It simply influences dice pools. Okay, you said subtract from stamina? Basically and... all your resistance stats. Oh, okay. All right. I'll just leave everything as is. Um, and I get an addiction? Okay. You're, well, all changelings are technically addicted to glamour. Oh. Okay. So essentially you're suffering withdrawal because you're out of glamour. Oh, right, right, right. I was actually staring at that. There's something for you to actually last longer if you don't have any glamour. This is perfect. Nice. I'm back home. <laughs> you're back at the hollow. Your body aches from the electricity, but it's not unbearable. And... Your skin is crawling due to the lack of glamour at this... It literally feels like your skin is moving. I bet it is! <laughs> Anyone else see um, something living inside of me? That TV show? You get that reference, you get it. I've not uh... seen it. All right, nice. So, um, wait. With I you, portal. Can I go back? You're at your hollow, and with that, we're gonna go to Leon. Leon. Okay. Yes. Um. Let's get our initiative. Can I propose we take this outside as to not cause property damage, my friend? I need the initiative. <sighs> Fine. Faders don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? All right. Uh, do I? I don't think I have any. No, fleet of foot doesn't help me with initiative. Okay. Well, my initiative's pretty dot terrible. But your rolls, though are also terrible. <laughs> I have initiative of three if it didn't come through on your screen. Three. Okay, well, he's gonna... There we go. He's gonna make his move. We all know what this move is. As he lunges. I would like to dodge. All right, that's your defense times two. Yes, it is. I'd look, can I willpower defense? It gives a plus two, correct? Uh, I... Yeah. Yes. Okay. So is that two to the dodge or four? It'd be two to the dodge. Okay. this right and so then because of weapon and shield I add my shield size to the pool as well I did not mean to do that I rolled initiative seven twice nice Successes. Oh, wow, that's not nice. Okay. Dice. So that you are unfortunately unable to dodge out in time. You're going to take... Obviously, this will get mitigated by your armor, but it would be five points of lethal damage. Okay. 
as he stabs you. Much to his promise, as he said he would stab you. Well, unfortunately, he does not draw blood because armor. Very good. Okay. However, that was your turn. Yes, it was. As he readies another swing of the sword, are you going to dodge again? I gotta look quick. I gotta do the cool thing, so I am going to dodge again. I'll succeed here one time. I need more willpower. You succeeded. All right, great, lovely, perfect. Uh, weapon and shield, the fighting style. Uh, if my opponent misses a melee attack against my character, he's automatically disarmed. All right. As but... his sword gets caught under my shield, and I rip it out of his hands. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm assuming it goes clattering to the floor. You don't actually have a hold of it. No, it's just disarmed. He is going to spend his round diving for his sword and re-grabbing it. Ah, diving, you say? Dodge rolling and grabbing it. Sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> that means he's on the ground and prone, isn't it? No, he's not prone. Yeah. All right, fine. I've had enough of cool things. We'll just kill him. All right, I need a contract here. I shall be using, uh, what is it called? What is it called? I can't remember. Uh, changing fortunes again on myself. So it is not contested. This is the the one essentially that modifies luck. Um, mm -hmm. I roll the successes and I can add dice to myself. Nothing fancy. I just want more dice. So wits occult weird. And how much glamour? Um, two. Okay. Brings you down to four. Correct. Unfortunately, it is only another two dice on my current attack. Because it's a reflexive action? Yes, it is. Or wait, no, it's not. It's an instant action. Wait a second. Never mind. Well, it's truly unfortunate, but I've already done it, I guess. Well, he's going to attempt to hit I'm you. I'm throwing the game. Here we go. I do, however have my defense which is six, six. minus five that is six points of lethal damage okay uh did my armor take like the sundered armor thing because otherwise i think i'm still all right uh, i believe sundered armor the exact wording on it again I cannot remember yeah that where is it in hurt locker <laughs> that's like the end pure starver there it is yeah suffering more damage and the armor generating in a sinker attack from high caliber weapons or stabbing of implements okay so then no I have spent many months reinforcing this gear. <laughs> you think a blade is going to stop me? However, he did actually deal damage that time. I have eight general armor. Oh, okay. <laughs> because equipment modifying is stupid. All right, so it's your go. Okay, had enough. He dies. He applies his defense to your attack. Which is? His defense is seven. And I'm just going to willpower to make it a flat roll. That's fine. 
I don't believe I have anything to... No. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're gonna miss. That's what we're gonna do. With that? He's gonna kind of laugh. What? I thought you were supposed to be the fighter. Seems to me you still haven't drawn blood either. With that, I am gonna... You get your defense. I'm going to actually burn a point of willpower here, so that's minus two. I need a new tactic. This isn't working. Chill bash. Five. I mean, you're still taking a point of bashing damage each time. Technically, because I don't think changelings count for a hurt locker ruling. So yeah, that's three bashing, whatever. Bashing's not real. <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna have to pull this card out again, aren't I? And just Helios's light again. <laughs> but it is effective. That's However, the blinding one? Yeah, let me, I'm checking if it's a, an instant or reflexive. However, it is an instant action. All right, fine. And how much glamour does that cost? Uh, two, because I'm not part of the court anymore. So, yeah, um, light, praise the sun. As, uh, the middle of the night, um, <laughs> the, this church is now quite bright. And I really hope there's no one nearby, because they're gonna see it. Rum's actually gonna shout from the corner, You need some help in there, friend? Uh, you don't seem to be doing too well in there. Situation is fine. Um, at this point... The Loyalist is actually going to take a few steps back and uh, take cover behind one of the pews. As he, as he kind of slowly gets his vision back, at blinking a few times, getting the, you know, light bubbles out of his eyes, kind of shouts over, Yeah, cowardly trick trying to blind your foe. It's because you can't actually fight. You gotta use cheap tactics. What, like hiding iron? Yeah, your point? At least mine had a chance of success, while yours is just a vain attempt to buy time. Okay, my point is I'm lunging. <laughs> but I am running out of willpower, so I will not be using another one. Um, because he's hiding... I don't think cover counts for melee attacks, does it? Not really, because I'm assuming okay. you're just going around the pew that he's hiding. Yeah, I... and uh, he is not going to be able to see when my sword comes, because if he tries to look for it, he cannot see, because sunlight is fun. Uh, let's not miss again. That'd be li that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Would that deny his defense? Blinded def denies defense. Yes. Okay. If you're blinded in both eyes. Which he would be. Why it's very good. Um. That is downgraded. I reckon he has armor. Yes. Or some other mystical... Mystical tool. Alright, so he takes... One, two, three, four... Uh, that's nine damage that you dealt? Yes. Okay. Your sword finds its mark, cuts into his armor, and with that, he kind you hear him, you hear him suck air, so to speak. And 
and he scampers away. And that's when you see him secure something from uh, from one of the satchels at his waist. And he throws it blindly. So it's not at you. So now this is where things get interesting. Does he have a firebomb? <laughs> An alluring skull? What does he got? Uh, technically your first guess is right. Grenade! Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, those, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> Even if he doesn't kill me, when they show up and see a bomb went off in their church, you're gonna be angry. Uh, it's not even- it's not a regular bomb. I know that. They're gonna be angry. Do you know what it is? Maybe not. Where, where is it? Where is the list of stuff? What are you looking for? Can I guess? Ah! There Fire we bomb, go. Molotov, firebomb. Is this Please. thermite? Ah, thermite. <laughs> he throws a therm thermite bomb, which, as it goes off, um, as thermite tends to do, this place catches on fire real fast. Okay. Good luck joining the church now. <laughs> Okay, they're going to be very upset. All right, um, let's... Am I on fire? No, uh, he blindly threw it, but obviously it is your side of the church that's on fire, not his. Is the path to him on fire? No, but... All right, then guess who's losing arm privileges? <laughs> you see you're going after his arm? Yeah, I'm uh, cult shotting his arm, and uh, cool style disabling tactics. I reduce the penalty by two, making it a flat roll. Um, I would say actually, I think he gets his defense in this case because he is not directly looking at you. It would be a mitigated defense, so I'm gonna say his defense Good. is a four rather than seven. Because he is kind of doing this with his arm to shield it. What a oh, perfect place to cut off. Yeah. Not a great dice pull, but I'm going to do it anyways. That is more than his stamina, most likely. So he suffers the arm rack tilt on whatever arm he just threw with. I'm waiting for it to come up. It won. One plus seven. One plus seven, yeah. Well, oh, technically, because this is a chopping sword, I would have gotten nine again, because it's cold shot, but whatever. I didn't roll any nine, so... Uh, let's see here. So that is still mitigated by his armor. Has suspected. So... It's equal to his stamina. Oh, wow. Okay, if it exceeds victim stamina. No, so then no. No arm rack. I should have gone for the hand. Yeah, because uh, he, he does have four stamina, so his armor reduces it by four. Okay. Uh, the building's on fire. That is quite unfortunate. How do I put out the fire? Quite a pickle. Yeah, uh, how do I put out thermite fire? I don't know if I even could if I wanted to. Well, you can't put out the thermite grenade itself, but you can definitely put out the fire that it Pausing. Yeah. But how? <laughs> and at this point, he is pretty wounded, so he's going to make it make a beeline for the door that uh, Rum is standing at. So you have a choice here. You can go after him, or you can try to put out the fire. You mean I got another choice? It's called unslinging the shotgun. No, it's still the choice of go after him with the shotgun or put out the well, fire. My my logic here is the f 
I don't have anything I could immediately do to put out the fire, I don't think. I have an idea, but... How much fire- how much is fire gonna burn in three seconds? It, it's gonna spread. Most of this place is wood. Yeah. <sighs> okay, um... Yeah, I don't think I could put out the fire quick enough for it to matter, so I'm gonna take a shot. Right. I presume yeah, pulling out a weapon would be an action. So he runs for a turn. Does he get to the door, I suppose? Yeah, every everything within this first room's within three seconds. Within, okay, within. so then maybe I wouldn't have thought I could shoot him in time. Uh, I mean, I'm fine with it, unless you want to wreck on it. I'm fine. Um, and he's going to hit the door and portal. Uh, Essentially, and the coward runs. Black crystals out, for those that know Dark Souls lore. <laughs> However, with that moment, we're going to go back to Francis and Jimmy. It is still the next morning for you two. Uh huh. Breakfast has been consumed. So I don't know what to do or, uh... What's your plans, if any? Um, well... Let's see... If I'm gonna get... The restaurant open in a few days... I think I'm gonna have to actually use... The picture that you... <laughs> set up for me. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll send it in an email and see what happens, I suppose. Is that how you do these type of things? Uh, well, in my, in my vast and infinite experience, criminal leverage, <laughs> criminally leveraging, um, I got no idea. I, I mean, I'd say give him a call, but well, I gave him a call. He has not uh, called me back yet. I mean, do you say something that he's supposed to understand? Like, uh, I hear snow's forecast. No, all I said was call me back. I had something to talk to him about, so <laughs> I guess it wasn't important in his book. Well, yeah, well, I suppose then, um... Well, yeah, I guess send an email. Uh... Do I have oh, his, yeah. uh, his contact info? You okay. Would, definitely. Maybe worth going to a, uh, somewhere with free Wi-Fi, you know, <laughs> or whatever. So, well, yeah, I guess, uh, let's go draft an email if you want some company, to be honest, I could do with some fresh air and a distraction, because otherwise I can't help but feel them. All right, yeah, that's... Pete last uh, night's antics. We'll, we'll go out and get some fresh air. That'll do you some good. That's good for a hangover. <laughs> I know that one. As you, as you guys make it out... Jimmy, your phone begins to ring. Check the number. It's not a number you recognize.
Yeah, I'll answer it. Uh, hey. Yeah, hello. Hey, um... I'm not sure what to call you. The receptionist lady only gave me a number. Said that you wanted to speak with us, the band? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's... Well, firstly, do I recognize the voice? A bit older. But yes. You're gonna have to give me their names here because I think. <laughs> um I didn't uh so there's um uh there was Louis. Uh he was he was the bait uh he was the uh lead singer, um, rhythm guitar. Harvey was the drummer and Ali uh Alice or Ali was the bassist. This would be Harvey. Um, so supposedly I'm s supposed to be indifferent of yeah, yeah. I well, don't know if you remember me. I was one of uh, one of Jimmy's offspring. Um, well, you do sound mm -hmm. just like him. A couple of years, <laughs> more than a few years back, but. No, I know, right? And everyone tells me I look like him. It's a bit an image, in fact. So, why'd you want to get in contact with us, out of curiosity? Well, you, I mean... <laughs> and there's so much going through, so many memories, right? Well, um, I mean, I met you guys on a few, few occasions, back when, uh, when the old man was still playing with you, um, just thought it'd be it'd be good to see you again, you know, old times' sake. So it was something of my childhood there. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably something we could uh, get together on. Um, we're free pretty much whenever we don't have. Fortunately, we don't get gigs as much as we used to, so, you know, thing, our lives are pretty calm nowadays. Oh, funny you mention that, actually. There's um, a fellow that I met a few days ago. Turns out to be a big fan. And had uh, had tickets for the night of the breakup. Obviously never got to see his show. Um, but if you fancy getting together, there's a place we can, uh, we can jam. I this taken after uh, after Jimmy in that regard that I still play guitar and I know a few of the songs if you fancy it. It'd be great to play with you guys at least once. Give me a persuasion roll here. Um, manipulation or manipulation since this is over the phone. Can't really use your presence here. Maybe if you were in person. My manipulation is terrible. Uh, my persuasion is even worse. <laughs> I, I am going to willpower this. Why can't I roll? Success. Tell you what, where are you hanging out nowadays? Well, I'm in all the uh, lap of luxury in Hanover. Oh, wow. Um... Yeah, jealous. <clears throat> One moment. He pauses for a moment. That's in New Hampshire, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I think... I mean, normally I'd ask you to come out here. But, you know, I'm assuming your friend is in Hanover, so... Eh. Yeah, he's... He runs a spot, and I know that, uh, meeting you guys would probably make his life. 
it, I guess it'd be nice to get on the drums again. Been a couple of years, but yeah, I'll, I'll get in touch with the others and I'll see you in a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's uh, um, it's Mike, Mike, by the way, Mikey. The Mikey. Friends. He pauses for a moment. I don't remember Jimmy having a kid named Mikey. It was with uh, and having a rather insightful knowledge to the amount to the women that Jimmy spent time with. He was like, um, it was with, uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a planned thing. It was with, uh, uh were they, were any of them? Lizzie Beaumont, uh, um, Lizzie. So, uh, is yeah, my mum, mum, just over the phone is my mother was Lizzie. Um, only, uh, didn't know Jimmy for a long time, so pretty much me and her, you know what I mean. All right, well, oh, we'll see you there. Um, you do hear a bit of skepticism on his voice as he kind of hangs up. Right. But not enough for you to be like, oh, he's not going to show. Wait till he sees me. That's, uh... And by this point, you would have reached wherever you were heading. Oh. Sorry about that, Francis. Uh... No, it's fine. Uh, just some old friends of yours sounded like. Maybe. Potentially a trip down memory lane. One last, uh... Old friends from the band, once upon a time. And, uh... Well... Obviously they, they've grown up, they've got their own lives, but... It'd be good to see them again, you know. Maybe have a, uh... Have a little bit of a session. It's always good for the soul, reminiscing about old things. Yeah, oh, I know, right? That's the, uh... Before all this. What about you? Anyone you left behind, or...? Yes and no. Obviously, I left people behind when I was taken. That kind of comes part and parcel for the course. Yeah. But, uh... I was, uh, I was basically kept in a hole and I recognized some of the things that I was fed. I don't think I have anything left. Or anyone. Never even asked when, when you were from. Well, it was... when was it? Ten-ish years ago, I think? Sorry, is that Arcadian time or...? Uh, real world time. I don't know about Arcadian time, <laughs> it was weird. Well, like, was it ten years in Arcadia or ten years material? Ten years material. Right. Could have been longer Arcadia. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. The, uh, there's, uh, things we leave behind. I wish I had just left them behind. I was not given that option. Oh, but anyways, that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, that's a painful memory. I don't want to wish to reminisce about. Yeah, so... Sure, sure. <laughs> You've got a restaurant, needs to be opened. We've got some potential felony misdemeanors to commit. Yes, you know. And... Good old, grand old time. And on that note, Lark, you get one phone call in jail. Who are you making it to? Wait, I actually ended up going to jail? I thought I portaled home. 
<laughs> don't, don't, don't do that. Don't. Stop. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Listen, if, if random human cops can yank me through a portal, we got some discussion. <laughs> so, Lark. Yes. As you lay there, I'm assuming you're you fall asleep at least for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna just sleep on the floor. Just tired. Like, after she just bum rushed through the portal, like, she just hit the ground and just didn't get up to sleep at the moment with Squinks just looking down at her. As the... As you just wake up naturally, where do you head? Or what do you do? Uh... You're this out of glamour. <laughs> I am out of glamour and starving. It's daytime though, so I and I didn't realize how small this town is. Um daytime cafe, schools and stuff is open, right? She would need to portal out or walk, correct? Yes, I'm in the hedge. I'm which, in the hollow. Which means she would have to walk your way out into a hedge gate. Or can I just open the hollow door and just go to the hotel? That's called portaling. Okay, portaling. That doesn't cost anything, right? You could open the door you just came from and go back to the museum. That's I the was only... thinking that, but... You have that <laughs> option, and you have the option of going out into the hedge. And, walk and then in. finding a hedge gate at like the hotel or something. Okay, yeah, this is this is gonna be pretty stupid. I was thinking about just opening door and going back through the door that I ran out of. It has been a couple of hours, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna be opening and closing doors for a cool minute. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm on my <laughs> wait. First off, um. What do we have here at the hollow? Oh, I got my stuff. All right, screw it. This is stupid. Let's go. I'm going back through the door. I came back to the museum. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Especially because the museum would be closed because there was a break in an entry that they would be investigating. Yeah, but once... say, there's, there's a total time difference too. So once again, uh, Lark. It's been a couple of hours. Who do you make your phone call from jail to? <laughs> Most of what they immediately see me and arrest me. Literally the... Uh, okay, I'm going to take a step out of character here. <laughs> <laughs> you literally walked back into an active crime scene investigation. Okay. The guards are going to... The guards are going to ID you within three seconds. That's the you know, person that just returned to see with the crime. <laughs> All right, I'm not going back. I'm not going back. And you would be stuck there because no more glamour. All right, I'm not going back. Going back to the hotel in town. I don't care if it's the goblin goblin's room. They don't care anyway. This is. <laughs> <sighs> Hotel. I'm going to the hotel. Walking to the hotel. Whatever. But where are you? Where are you heading outside of that? Where is your destination? I did have a job, a mechanic before all of this does happen. So I'm gonna go see my boss. See if I even still have a job. <laughs> we'll go back to the garage. You're able to find your way fairly easily. Your, the garage is still the way you would expect it. Your boss, it's early morning. Your boss is still eating a bagel in his office. He kind of looks up through the window and sees you and kind of waves you in. Yep. Yep. Here we go. I'm going to be fired. Hey, boss. How's it going? I'm the one that should be asking you that. How's your physical therapy going? Kind of shows him on her collar collarbone a new tattoo 
It's getting there. <laughs> okay, I asked you about your physical therapy, not tattoos. Yeah, I... S There's still a lot not together with therapy. I'm getting there. I mean, at least I can walk without that bad of a limp. That's always a win. Well, you know your job's safe whenever you're ready to come back. Well, y you know, thanks. legal reasons I can't technically fire you for stuff like this. <laughs> at least not without a lot of backlash. He kind of s smiles. Yeah, understandably so. I do appreciate it when you literally could have just got anyone else. And uh, Would it be okay if I was to start tomorrow? Sure, yeah. I'm okay with that. You have just finished listening to this week's episode of Changeling the Lost 2nd Edition. Once more, Into the Hedge, part of the Domain Gaming's Contagion Anthology. Written and told by Wyvarian. A special thanks to you, the listener, and if you wish to continue supporting us, subscribe, like, and share. And as always, comments are welcomed. Until the next chapter, don't stop asking yourself. How do you find the lost beauty in the agony of this life? <laughs>